is our team Sunday, right? Amen. I'm excited about it. Everybody got their different team on. I'm going to tell you, though, I'm going to stand with the home team. I'm going to be ten toes down. I'm going to ride them out, whether it be the Hawks, whether it be the Dirty Birds, <laughs> whether it be the Braves. I'm standing with the home team. But call, but everybody got their team on with y'all tonight. Today we only one team. Whether you got a shirt on, Amen. You know, got a Amen. we team all day. Yeah. We team all day. I'm glad to be on team Paul today. Team St. Paul today. And guess what we came to do? We came to lift the Lord's name higher. Amen. Tell somebody about the goodness of God. Amen. To celebrate. To yes. celebrate yes. our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And give him all the money. And give him all the praise. Amen. I'm glad to be on Team Paul today. Team Paul, because guess what? We serve Jesus. Amen. All right. Amen. Excited to be here. Let us stand for our morning. In uh, our morning call to worship. Thank you. Help me. I got to stop. Help me. Help me. Thank you. Our morning call to worship. Gather us in the brokenhearted and the joyful. Gather us in the weak and the strong. Gather us in the fearful and the brave. Gather us in the young and the old. Gather us in to sing of God's word. Gather us in to the great Jesus Christ. Gather us in to worship and wonder. Gather us in to know God's love. Amen. You may be seated in the very presence of God. This is our youth Sunday, and we're going to turn it over to our young people. I guess it's going to be Madison today. It's going to be our worship leader. Give a shout out for Madison.
chosen to worship with us today. Your presence is a blessing to us. St. Paul is a vibrant church, and we're meeting the needs of God's people. Please share with us as we celebrate God's provision, protection, and power. I'm going to leave you with just one thing. I promise you, you're going to leave you here better than you can. So let us greet you in the St. Paul way. Welcome to St. Paul! We are so glad to have you worshiping with us. Here are a few events that are happening at the park and throughout the community. We are planning quarterly birthday celebrations beginning in March. Captains have volunteered to coordinate each quarter celebration. We will keep you posted as this project progresses. Pastor Ficklin is the Lenten service preacher at Jenkins Memorial CME Church on Good Friday, March 29th. This service is sponsored by the United African Christian Methodist Ministerial Alliance. Reverend Carlton Taylor and the United African Christian Methodist Alliance has extended an invitation to the St. Paul family. New Saints CME Church in Washington, Georgia is celebrating revival April 15th through the 17th. Pastor Figlin is the guest revivalist. Let's support Reverend Tracy Curry and the New Saints family. There are several events occurring throughout the week, and we would love for you to join us. Our young adult ministry, Carver Crew, hosts a weekly prayer call every Monday night at 7 p.m. via Zoom. If you would like to be a part of the call, we would love to have you join us. We are being blessed on our weekly Wednesday night Bible study. Please join us for Bible study on Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. Join us for Sunday school on the first and third Sunday, starting at 9.45 a.m. in person, and on second and fourth Sundays at 9 a.m. via Zoom. At the park, we have worship service every first and third Sunday at 11 a.m., and we would love for you to join us. This has been your news at the park, and if you would like to add any announcements, please call or text Megan the Thursday before Sunday service. Welcome again to the Paul, the house of refuge for God's people.
We want to let you know that uh, we, this is something that came out of our efforts to uh, make sure that we have a more hospital, that we do radical hospitality here at St. Paul. So all our visitors will receive a welcome to our church bag. In this bag is, is a card so that uh, they can complete this, Sister Agatha, and get it back to me get it back to us and we met mine in to return this to us so that I can make contact with them. Uh, there's some information about when we have services. They'll get a band that says uh, St. Paul and they'll get a pen that says St. Paul and they will get a pen, a St. Paul pen and they will get uh, right now some peppermints. So I'm asking if you got anything that you would like to purchase and put, put some napkins in here some hand sanitizer, anything you want to add to the bag, uh, you're welcome to uh, bring some things and we'll definitely add it to the bags that we have prepared, but we want our guests to be here knowing that we're glad that they were in the number. We're glad that they were here and to have some things to remember us by. Uh, our ushers have access to all of this and the welcome bags will go to our visitors. Um, I was going to be a good, the Lenten, uh, the, the Lenten services start Ash Wednesday, and they had selected me to be the speaker at uh, for Wednesday during the week, but now they have changed me to be the Good Friday messenger, and Good Friday, remember these are all the different churches, this is an ecumenical effort, these are all different faiths that come together of this alliance, and so all the different faiths will come together each Wednesday until Easter. But I will be the Good Friday messenger at Jenkins Memorial, so I'm, I'm soliciting your support uh, for that Good Friday service. Um, want to congratulate Siani Little. Stand up. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Because we don't know who's going to be a future steward this season. 
<clears throat> in the church in so called. Right now, we only have five. Mm -hmm. We only have five. And I asked Nancy uh, <laughs> two, to come. So I was listening to people. I was listening to people. You should listen to people. I was listening to people. Pastor got to go. Yes. And so we want y'all to come and see how the table because that sister may be sick right now. Sister Jenna may not always be on. I'm still learning how to dress the table. So somebody got to know how to dress it other than Jenna. We all we all work in progress. Yeah. So I feel I think that, that's an awesome thing. Yeah, if Sister Dias taking their time out to come out here and help her to show us how to do it, then as many that can come to be present and say you come to I mean you not know that. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, and, yeah, and then to learn how to do it because uh, we, I, I, I ain't claiming old, but I am. I'm 68 and I'm getting my, I'm having birthday. So we are not going to be able to do this. So we try to train up the younger people in the church how to do the things that we are doing right now. And it's no better time than to do it now. Amen. We're going to ask you to stand and follow the direction of our ushers. The celebration of Black History Month began as Negro History Week 
which was created in 1926 by Carter G. Woods, a noted African American history scholar, educator, and publisher. It began a month long celebration in 1976. The month of February was chosen to coincide with the birthdays of Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln. Amy McVeigh was the first black person to win an Oscar. While Rosa Parks is credited with helping to spark the civil rights movement when she refused to give up her public bus seat to a white man in Montgomery, Alabama in 1955, inspiring the Montgomery bus boycott, the lesser known Claudette Colvin was arrested nine months prior for not giving her bus seat to white people. In, in January 2021, Kamala Harris became the first woman of African and Asian descent to become Vice President. Harris's mother immigrated to the United States from India and her father immigrated from Jamaica. Kayla Mae Lewis, my great girl, was the first black female bus driver for Hancock Central. Uh, April 5, 1947, Jackie Robinson became the first African American to play. Major League ba Baseball when he joined the Brooklyn Dodgers. He led the league in stolen bases that season and was named Rookie of the Year. Rosa Dennis, my aunt, was the first black woman accepted the very first nursing class at Georgia College. She had to overlook discrimination to get things done, while the white girls were more amazed with things she did than she was. Jack Johnson became the first African-American man to hold the World Heavyweight Champion boxing title in 1908. In, 20, in 2008, Barack Obama became the first black man president in the United States. George Washington Carver developed over 300 products with the P.S.
If you want to be successful now, you got to start preparing when? Now. Yeah. You can't just let life keep happening to you. Amen. You just can't go through every day and let life just happen to you. You got to prepare. Yes. 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 Champions, y'all. They're feelings because when it comes to sacrifice, they don't mind. They don't mind making the sacrifice. Champions don't mind commitment. And they don't mind hard work. And no one understands this more than the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. Both teams, y'all, have come to the old, they came to open the season expecting, y'all. They went to open the season expecting to what? To be in Super Bowl 59. They expected to be able to show up in Los Angeles. You know, they could have said, they could have said, uh, we don't know if we're going to make it to the Super Bowl this year, but we're going to do our best. We're going to do our best to get there. They didn't show up. They didn't show up starting season like that. They showed up starting season saying, we going to the Super Bowl. Yeah. We're going to the Super Bowl, and we're going to do whatever it takes to get there. So we got to do what? Prepare to win. And they achieved it, y'all, because they believed it. How many of you started this year out preparing to win? I don't know about y'all, but I started this year out preparing to win. I started putting things in motion, doing what I needed to do to make sure that I'm a winner this year. Now, y'all, let me tell you, let me explain something to you. I'm not a football person. I can care less about football. I don't care less about no football. I, I like basketball a little bit. I like basketball and I like baseball. I love them hawks and I love them brave, but football, but you know I'm going to stand 10 toes down with these dirty birds. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to ride them out. I'm going to ride them out. They may not make it to the Super Bowl, but I'm going to ride for them, though, because I feel like everybody should be for the home team, but I'm really not a football person. But I'm going to make sure that Brother Fitton got his, his Super Bowl appetizer. Y'all know that. Yeah. I'm going to make sure he got his wings and his, his sauce and everything he need to have yeah. for the Super Bowl.
that they ain't did everything for him. That, that God is really the one who's been providing for them. Amen. Pastors, sometimes we, we sometimes we, 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 we have to make it clear to the church that, that, that the church ain't the only one that, that, that's taking care of us. So we, we have to understand that that Paul says, he said, let me make this clear to you now. I thank y'all for taking care of me. I thank y'all for sending me some money. But but I want you to know whether I have been rich or whether I have been poor in this ministry, no matter what I have been spiritually like, Paul said, Jesus Christ, the Lord has provided. Jesus has taken care of me. Paul focused on Jesus Christ. And he says, it's the Lord that has strengthened me in every situation. Whether I've been up or whether I've been down, it's God that will draw strength from me. Paul says, I've learned the secret of being content in any and every situation. Whether I'm well fed or hungry, whether I'm living in plenty or plenty or in want, I can. Somebody say, I can. I can. Somebody I can. say I can. I can.
watched the video of Patrick Mahomes, quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs. And I watched him in the game where he was mic'd. They had a microphone on it in the game. And he was saying to the team members when they were dying, when the team was dying, y'all, he was saying, attitude, 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 don't give up.
show me in front of the game. Maybe the best team will win. But in this fight, winning y'all means chasing God. Amen. Winning means chasing God. I'm not going to stop preaching. You can get mad with me if you want to, but I'm not going to stop preaching it. But why would I have the secret of something and not share it with you? Why would I know the secret to success and not share it with you? We chase everything. We chase men. We chase women. We chase jobs. We chase money. And long as you do that, guess what? The enemy is going to come back and bring you in. Amen. Amen. It took me too long to learn that. And you took me too long to learn that. Because of but I want you to know that my life changed when I stopped chasing people, when I stopped chasing money, and I stopped chasing jobs. My whole life changed. Even when I made the decision that I can't even just chase this man. I can't chase this man. I can't even make him happy unless I'm chasing God. Amen. Thank you. With my Life change was when I started chasing money. You can't chase the streets. You can't chase the world. You can't chase it. When I started chasing God and running behind God and sacrificing sometimes my family, my time, my tax, sacrificing to go and serve the Lord and be present and to show up for the Lord and to show up and to study His Word and to teach. And, and one of the things about this church, we we on all week long, baby. Amen. We all on all week long. Amen. One of the things I like about it, when the pastor ain't on me sometimes, when I, I need to be encouraged, sometimes I get a text. Amen. Y'all, I'm not going to respond all Amen. the time because guess what? Well, it, 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 that means somebody else preaching. They don't Amen. need me to preach today. Sister Vera, you don't need me to preach that day. You preach Amen. Amen. God. When I start chasing God, then everything in my life elevated. And everyone connected to me, what? Elevated. Everybody connected to me, starts to elevate. Thank you. Long as you chase money, long as you chase people, long as you chase things, you'll never have anything on this side. You'll have it. But God will always finds something that comes along. Thank you. I mean, the, the enemy will always find something that comes along. Chase God. Thank you. Chase God. They're going to be chasing the ball, but you got to chase God. Amen. I made the Lord proud. And when I made the Lord proud in my life, the scripture became real to me. I can really say I can do all things. Okay. I can do all things. Okay. I can do all things. Yes. Okay. I can do all things. Yes. Through Christ. Who strengthens me. The last thing I want you to do is remember the team. Remember the team. Remember the team. There are a lot of predictions about who's going to win this game. Y'all know it, don't you? High steps on the line, y'all. And people have a ridiculous amount of money they spending, eh? Just the cheapest ticket to this game is over $5,000. And when you add in the fees, it's seven thousand mm. dollars. The average ticket is nine thousand and something. Mm. Don't you know we can solve the world problem too? Then we can get on one accord like that too. Amen. We can solve a lot of problems Amen. in this world. Then we can just start one community at a time. You better believe in my. You better believe if somebody bless me. I'm not giving them no $9,000 for those games. No, they're not going to watch on TV. They have, still have a good time. But they spend a ridiculous amount of money to watch it. And you can just watch it unfold right there in Allegiant Stadium on TV. They frustrated, though. Yeah, they forecast them that this is going to be the most watched game ever because of Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, right? <laughs> they think all them Swifties are going to now show up at the game or do what? Watch it, because they want to see what Taylor Swift going to do. She's going to be at the game. 
So they think this is going to be one of the most watched games ever. Not even worried about the team, just worried about some folks going to be watching it. Some folks going and spending that $9,000 just to see Taylor Swift. But I think, and this is my prediction, that the franchise that's going to win the Super Bowl is the players that when they get on the field, they don't forget to their team. Amen. That's my prediction now, that the franchise that's going to win the Super Bowl is the one where the players, when they get on the field, they remember that they are a team. And we're going to win as a church, y'all, in 2024. We got to become a team. Amen. We got to become a team if we're going to win as a church. We already got three coaches. We got three coaches. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We got three coaches. And here is our book of plays right here. Struggling out here in our community, 
And the problem with the black community is we don't know financial literacy. We live paycheck to paycheck. Don't you know that there's psychological slavery? That they want us to live like that? And some of us sit on Cush bank accounts, and we don't care folk about how we made it. Amen. That education needs to happen right here at the church. There are lots of things that we have in our folks still dying. And people can't afford to bury their family members because somebody needs to teach them that you got to have insurance. You remember where my had the insurance plan came by, had that little car? Amen. And she gave them a little piece of change. But she had insurance on everybody. Grandma had insurance on everybody. Amen. She didn't care if you had no policy. She couldn't touch your policy. You might have a policy today, and it might be gone tomorrow. So grandma covered you and your insurance too, didn't she? She made sure that she wouldn't go have to beg a ball with her child. We still got folks in our community that, that when they leave here, they can't even, we can't even afford to bury. Folks got to get up and have a meeting to bury. Remember the team, y'all. We got to remember the team. We got young people. Parents don't have insurance on their young people. Folks, get some insurance on your children. If you can't do nothing but go down there and get you a drugstore job, get you some, make sure you have insurance on your children. Amen. No man knows the day nor the hour. Amen. And the last thing you want to do if, you, if you, any of your loved ones leave here is beg somebody to help you bury them. We need to educate people on these things. We need to share, but we need to bring people who can talk to people about policy, talk to people about financial literacy, talk to people about making preparations for that time. Y'all, this is not a home. We, we, we get too happy here. This is not a home. We just pass it through. Our home is on high. Our home is on high. We got to be able to be a more relevant church in this community. So I'm calling everybody to the team. Everybody to the team. Remember the team. St. Paul gonna win in 2024. Amen. We're gonna win. Amen. Amen. We can do all things. Amen. We can do all things. If you, one thing I know about it this year, if you get on this team, you'll win the team. We're gonna take on the trophy. We're gonna take on the trophy because those who are doing the work, we're gonna do our very best. We're going to give it everything we got. We're going to lay it all down on the field. We're going to lay it all down on the field. So when the Lord calls us home, we'll be able to, he'll, we'll be able to hear him say, well done, well done, well done, well done, well done. One day that's all I want to hear. I want to hear God say, well done. Well done. Well done. My good and faithful son. So remember the team. And let's prepare the week. Let's stay in where you are.
Black History Month, Love Month. Is it heart disease? Heart disease, heart disease. Who are those of you got your red on this? It, 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 it is for, it's for heart health. <laughs> They're recognizing heart disease. But I'm going to ask every married person to come to the altar right now.
DMS. Let us pray, most precious God. I thank you for these who have come here to stand. They entered into a covenant, Lord God, with you and with their spouses.